Harry and Meghan under depression after Queen confirmed secret party on baby Lilibet's first birthday. It's set to be a special year for the Queen, who will officially mark the 17th year of her reign on the 6th of February. Celebrations are planned throughout the year, including one which falls on her great-granddaughter Lilibet's first birthday. The star-studded platinum party at Buckingham Palace will take place on Saturday the 4th of June. Performers are yet to be named but it is being billed as an event that will bring together some of the world's biggest names in entertainment. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will also celebrate their daughter's milestone on the same day. Lilibet Diana Mountbatten Windsor was born on 4 June 2021 at Santa Barbara Cottage Hospital, with her name chosen in honor of the Queen's childhood nickname. It's not known if Prince Harry and Meghan will travel to the UK to be part of the Jubilee celebrations. Members of the royal family will come together to mark the occasion at the Queen's birthday parade, Trooping the Colour, on Thursday 2 June. There will also be a service of thanksgiving at St. Paul's Cathedral on Friday 3 June and people across the country will sit down together for the big Jubilee lunch on Sunday 5 June, the final day of the bank holiday break. The Sussexes finally shared the first photograph of Lilibet with the release of their 2021 Christmas card. The adorable family photo was taken by their wedding photographer Alexei Lubomirsky in the summer at the couple's home in Montecito. The precious portrait sees the family posing on some steps with Archie, too, sitting on Harry's lap and Meghan lifting Lilibet in the air. The message on the card read, Happy Holidays. This year, 2021, we welcomed our daughter, Lilibet, to the world. Archie made us a mama and a papa, and Lily made us a family. The Queen has been feeling isolated and lonely but her stoicism has helped her through difficult times, a royal expert claimed. Royal expert Neil Sean claimed the Queen has been feeling more isolated and lonely due to the absence of Prince Philip as she prepares to celebrate her platinum jubilee. Until the Duke's retirement in 2017, Her Majesty undertook a majority of royal events with her husband, who passed away last April. The Queen also suffered the loss of two of her most trusted aides, the Duchess of Grafton and Lady Farnham in quick succession over the past month. Speaking on his YouTube channel Neil Sean's Daily News Headlines, Mr. Sean said, apparently it's nothing really to do with the Queen's health but more the fact that obviously she now feels more alone and isolated than ever. These sort of events would have been undertaken as a duo previously she always had the Duke by her side whose Royal Highness Prince Philip. And as one can imagine it must be very difficult facing this for the very first time thinking exactly how are you going to be able to command the world stage now as a solo star. Mr. Sean continued, whatever people feel, they were a duo. Everybody looked forward to seeing the duo as much as our glorious majesty the Queen. One of the situations that they've tried to do is to make sure that our majesty is never truly alone. That's why Edward and Sophie are regular visitors, as are too Catherine and William when restrictions allow. But as one insider told me, this particular year has not just been heartbreaking for Her Majesty the Queen but more importantly she realizes now what she owes the rest of the world as they want to celebrate with her. He added, she must try and pull herself together to make sure that she too can show happiness for the rest of the world for all the things that they've done for her. The Duke of Edinburgh died at the age of 99 on April 9 and the Queen reportedly drew her strength from virtual church services, video calls with family, and walks with her two corgis at Windsor Castle. One of her core team members praised her for her ongoing commitment to her duty, saying, she understands that she has a job to do, and, Philip, would have wanted her to crack on, she loves to work, would have wanted, 